Uh, okay, we're live. Okay, so I am going to talk about section 12.3, brightness of stars. I'm choosing this portion of the text mainly because it interests me. I always enjoy staring at the stars at night. You know, sometimes I, I lie down with a blanket and stare at the stars at night. Um, specifically, why I chose this portion of the text is because I recently took a sail trip. I sailed from San Francisco to Hawaii. And it was a 12 day sail trip and you're in the middle of the ocean. So like the middle of nowhere, pretty much. And at night, all or only on the like clear nights, because sometimes it was overcasted. But when the night was clear, you could see almost felt like every star in the solar system. So it was such a cool feeling. And it just when you stare at the stars in the middle of the ocean and you've been sailing for like 12 plus days, you really... I don't know. You, you soak it all in. So staring at the stars, it, it, it makes you wonder a lot of things. And there was definitely some stars brighter than others. And um, we always use like the North Star to determine if we were going straight because you have no other bearings around you in the ocean. So I thought it was really cool that there was a section on the brightness of stars. So I'm going to talk about it now. That was a really long intro. Going into it, I'm going to summarize the main points of the text. So... Uh, mainly what I learned was stars generate their own light and the brightness depends on three different factors. The amount of light produced, the size, and the distance to other stars. So a combination of all these factors is what generates the brightness. So a classification for different levels of brightness were formed by um, the Greek person Hi Hippar Hipparchus? Hipparchus. We're going to go with Hipparchus. And... Um, so a combination of these factors generate the brightness, right? Okay, I already said that. I'm going to just go one take. We're still going. Classification for different levels of brightness you see is called apparent magnitude. And that was established by Hipparchus. So this apparent magnitude classification ranges from 1 to 6. And that's kind of like a brightness value range. So 1 would be the brightest and 6 would be the faintest. Um, some stars later on were found to be even brighter than the scale, so then they had to go into negative numbers. So the brightest star in the sky is Sirius, and it has a negative 1.42 apparent magnitude. So that's a fun fact. Moving on. So apparent magnitude of a star depends on how far away the stars are and the difference in stars themselves. So stars farther will appear fainter and stars closer would appear brighter. And that's just depending on where, where you're viewing them from. So to compensate for these differences, astron astronomers choose to use a standard distance. So it's like imagining that everyone is viewing a star from this same distance. And the standard distance they use is 32.6 light years. So the brightness of a star at a standard distance is called the absolute magnitude. So it's different than the apparent because the apparent is where you're viewing the star from. Boom. And then the absolute magnitude is viewing the star from this standard distance. So the sun is the closest star to Earth and the sun has the apparent, an apparent magnitude of negative 26.7. So that's viewing the star the sun, the star, from Earth. So that's why it's the apparent magnitude. So the apparent magnitude of the sun, again, is negative 26.7. But when viewing the sun from the standard distance, um, the 32.6 light years, the sun would have an absolute magnitude of plus 4.8, which is the brightness of a faint star. So I find that pretty crazy to believe. Like, you're viewing the sun from Earth and it looks just super bright, crazy, so it has a negative 26. But when you when you view the sun from the same distance that they use, it only has a 4.8, which is a faint star. So I find that really kind of cool. And this is gone for four minutes. Oh my gosh, yikes. Uh, there's no figures associated, but I clearly understand the text. And to take you deeper, I really enjoy the stars, mainly because of my sail trip. Here, I took out a picture. That's us on the boat. 
oh, that's a random pick. <laughs> <laughs> but there I am. And we sailed across the Pacific Ocean. Uh, it's five minutes now. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.